Okay, so uh, here is the car that I was uh, talking about in another video. Uh, it's the 370Z Nismo, which is like a really cool car that I am very sad. Just, it's, like, I need to do some stuff to this. I'm gonna try and explain how this car drives, cause like, it, you know, a lot of like driving videos, I don't think the features of the car are really coming across cause it's like very big, like racing games are like mostly feel, right? Like, oh, this car feels different and the sound and stuff, but like, otherwise you don't really get that without me describing it, so I'm just gonna quickly I actually recorded two videos for this. The first one, for some reason, my PS4 decided, hey, I'm just gonna delete this because you pressed the wrong button and, you know, you didn't double tap the share button. So instead, what you did, you uh, pressed it once and that brought up a sub menu which then deleted your recording. <laughs> which was like, thanks, man. That seems like a bad. So you can see it's pretty fast against these guys because they're all like lower performance rating than me it's pretty like agile i'm having a little trouble getting around some corners and relying on the drift which cuts in a lot um but like actually like in terms of handling it's a very fun drive and it has a lot of like agility although you can see i'm having trouble with the turning circle here that might be my fault I may have put the wrong modifications on it because, to be honest, a lot of Need for Speed Heat's modifications fuck up the features of the car's driving and handling set. So you think, oh, I'll put it all in race, and that tightens up the uh, the handling a lot. But it also makes it very stiff and lowers your ability to drift, which in some cases you kind of need a little looseness to get around these corners like there's no way in hell without drifting and getting around this corner completely fine without hitting something or going a little too wide and slowing right down <clears throat> obviously you want to maintain speed as much as you can but drifting sometimes actually drops your speed quite a lot there as you can see I went down to like third gear there and it was about 80 miles an hour so this car is really nice I really like it and I am just super mad because as we're going to see and this is actually the recording of the second attempt of this it's uh it's lacking in performance you can see up at the top corner it's 367 that is with alternate parts installed so you know basically the best parts in the game I have unlocked at this point all ultimate across the board and it's slower in performance rating and like just general flat out power than um, any of my muscle cars and some of them don't have all ultimates some of them have elite plus parts it's slower than the Viper the Mustang like oh, of course the Viper I guess but like I don't know I think the NSX actually has like more power behind it than this of according to the numbers. To be honest, I found the numbers in Need for Speed quite, uh, variable. Like, they don't, or like, not variable, unreliable. Like, they don't seem to actually relate the way you think. Like, I'll have, like, a, uh, Mustang Fox body that says it's a 390 and it is really good and powerful, and then I'll have, like, a Ferrari at the same performance and it, there's no comparison the Ferrari is just much faster and adroit around corners than the um obviously <laughs> but like uh you know like <clears throat> you what I'm saying is you can't rely on the <laughs> <clears throat> you can see once you get off on the wrong track as well it's quite hard to correct your mistake in this car which is weird because you think oh it'd be much more like easier to flick around the corners than say I'm like a Mustang or something is, but like I'm finding it harder to correct myself once I fuck up in this car for some reason. But yeah, nice car, nice paint job, nice sound, depressingly slow, and I'm mad because I would have wanted this car to like be a car that I drove regularly. <laughs>
that you I'm gonna just show how unviable it is. It might be a good drift option, I'm not sure I haven't messed around with it. But I've got two drift cars already. Those videos will come up at some point. It's making me think maybe I should try the GTR Nismo whenever I unlock that through collectibles and whatnot. I might have it unlocked, I can't remember when you unlock it, which collectibles or activities you have to complete to get it, so I may have it already. Uh, just need to buy it. Maybe. To be honest, I could do with some Skylines in my garage, but like this game has balanced GDM in a certain way that I'm not particularly fond of, which means I don't regularly use them, because I just don't like the way they feel. They feel too underpowered like they really don't get across like you know and like when it's underpowered you kind of feel like oh uh, um, and then that means you make one mistake and you're just like you know, it's gonna be very unlikely you can catch up again there's a nice looking car let's look at the car look at it ow <laughs> AI guy just smashes into me Look, it's pretty, pretty. I always like the Fair Lady series and the Z series and one, whatever you call it now. Um, always thought they were nice cars. They always represented like the NSX did to me, a kind of like, not affordable, but kind of mid-range two-seater sports car that gradually was phased out by uh, like sales because I guess they realized that a lot of people aren't buying those cars anymore because just the way finances and like you know traditions have been lately, it's more likely that like someone with the ability to buy this kind of car would spend it on like a four-seater instead for their family. So like mid-range like a mid-range Mercedes or something that has more like practicality so uh, you don't see these as much I find like you don't see as many car companies going out of their way to make affordable two-seater sports cars anymore that are like just mid you know and like for someone like me that's something I would have always wanted rather than because I don't plan on having family and I didn't, I'm child free and all of that stuff. So, um, it's a shame the car industry went, no nah, man. <laughs> Just kind of, there isn't as much of a selection anymore, you know? Yeah, so we've got the police after us here. Uh, we're at heat level two. I'm just trying to get to heat level three at the moment, as usual, to try and start that. I'm assuming that the difficulty may have may increase for the heat races now because I'm kind of can't see any more ultimate parts. So the UI does not tell you that it's moved to ultimate plus yet. So I don't know if the UI can even update or handle itself and say, yeah, like part next part reward will be U plus. <laughs> so I'm first somehow because I guess this one I don't really didn't really read the event numbers, but I guess they're not. They're behind me, and only about 100, 200 yards behind me. Wait, is the 370Z a two-seater? It might be a four-seater or one of those ones with the tiny seats in the back, like the RX-8 used to have. Man, the RX-8 was such a like disappointment. It was like such a cool idea. When it came out, I was like, oh man, the RX-8, that's gonna be really cool. And then I actually sat in one in a car showroom and I was like, oh, oh I don't like this. And it doesn't feel like it's gonna be fast. Not that I could have afforded it. I was like, I couldn't even drive. <laughs> I think I was like 14 at the time uh, when that first came out. You're being chased by free cops. This is a one-man show. Um, uh, 
Okay, so we've unlocked Heat Free, it's just there. It's crossover. I don't like crossover. Oh, shit. <laughs> ah, I escaped them by stealthily hiding in the river. They'll never think to look for me there. I can't believe that worked, holy shit. <laughs> I don't think I've only ever sat in a convertible 350Z a few years ago at a car show like Goodwood, Festival of Speed, or the London Motor Show, and I was like, oh, this is okay, but like, obviously didn't drive it. I was still underage then, and they don't really test drive at those places as far as I'm aware. You just sit in them and go, ooh, fancy. <laughs> Car health. This may not make this great. I don't like this race either. Like, I don't like crossover. It's a lot of like winding hill stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to be using something a little more like supercar ish or something with just enough power to just power through your mistakes. Like, wrecked the car, that's so sad. Whoa. So this would have been, a, this is a fine example of why did you give me this car end game? This would have been a amazing car mid game and you basically guaranteed that I would not get this car until way too late for it to be viable in the game. Because what will I be doing post game, uh, post story, like collecting shit that's like difficult, like 200 mile an hour speed traps, stuff like that, which this car can just about squeak out. Um, oh, I'm hitting every car. Oh, no. oh, it's, oh it's so wide. Oh no, there's a building. Oh, yeah, it's a little wide there. You see, I can't really do right angle turns without me engaging the handbrake. Now I'm eighth. Uh, and you can see I'm not really catching these guys very easily and like there's just cars fucking everywhere. Hey guys, this will go out and just randomly drive at 20 miles an hour in the middle of the night. When's the best time to Sunday drive? 2 a.m. <laughs> Why was that car driving that way? Oh shit. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, this is making us far less likely I'll catch up. Like, the guy at the front is like nearly a mile ahead of me already. Oh, oh no. Yeah, this is where you can see the performance is lacking, but you can also see it's probably not helping. I, I probably could make this up if I had good driving skill and I didn't make a single mistake on this giant giant race with winding tracks and like cars everywhere I could in theory do it with this car but I normally record these whilst having a beer so there's that excuse and also like I can make it significantly easier by driving a car that's actually like at the same level as the AI's cars so you can see I'm just smacking everything. And you don't want to be hitting everything when you're at night because the car takes a lot more damage a lot more quickly at night times just to screw with you, I think. So. Oh yes, the the parade of ambulances. A lot of a lot of accidents happening just down this stretch of road in this place with no houses or people. So yeah, I lost that. <laughs> so we, we might try the heat level 5 race if I can actually like get rid of these guys first. And like the lower performance your car is, the harder it is to get rid of the police because they will just keep catching up with you and catching up with you, which is why early game you basically ignore night mode because it's like at a certain point you're like oh heat level four i'm fucked 
Game over, I'm just gonna lose everything I've just done because there's no way in hell I can outrun them in my starting BMW. Like, no matter how much you update it, you cannot outrun them unless you're, like, doing some really creative stuff. And this game doesn't have a Nobody lot of jumps and stuff, so... Oh, I'm gonna have found them again, crap. Yay! Yay! I can't get back to the safe house because the car, like, they're everywhere and I can't outrun them fast enough to stop the cop chase happening. Yay! This is why you don't drive these cars. <laughs> Not at night time. Now I'm heat level 4. Prepare to get murdered. Oh, the spikes on the road up ahead. Great. Where? Did I go by them? Are they here? Do I... Okay, I'll just go this way. They are following me. I'm trying to find one of these big jumps. There it is. Because normally the AI spazzes out when they go over these and go, and it's like that, and just insta crash. And you're just like, okay, fine, like that's clearly how they dealt with this problem, like, because there's no most wanted style, like, smash the roof on them or knock a sign on their head thing. Okay, I'm gonna just try and get out of this area because I don't think I'm losing them. Maybe I can try and use some of the shipping container areas because there's lots of stunt jumps and stuff and like solid things that will knock their health bar down, but like... See what I mean? I'm not outrunning this Corvette. Like, the police Corvettes are just stupid. Like, there's just no way. There's no way. But now I've got full health. Maybe I've got a chance, but like, that's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Rhino incoming! Oh, there he is. Oh, he still clipped me, and that still did quite a lot of damage just from a clip there. You see what I mean? Okay, oh no. This is not a good place. This is like the worst place when you're being chased with high heat, because there's not very many places to hide, and the AI is pretty good at stalking you here. Even if I'm doing this stuff, where I'm literally not even on the roads. They're like, oh, I will just follow you. Ha ha ha, I am here. Whereas normally the lack of road confuses them a little bit. Ow. Ow. Hey. Ow. Dick. I'll go this way. I'll go this way, you go home. Oh, man. Okay. Just gonna see my usual thing of, like, just go very fast in a straight line and then they'll lose sight of you because you're so fast. It's clearly not working here. <laughs> oh, no. I have to be good at the game now. I don't want to be good at the game. Yeah, you hit that civilian. This is definitely worth murdering loads of civilian drivers over in horrible traffic accidents. Because this guy was driving slightly too fast at night. Definitely worth wasting tax resources on a helicopter and like an entire fleet of Corvettes and like spike strips and like an entire army of cops. But you know, gameplay. Oh, they were trying to kill switch me because, like, they can do that sometimes. I uh, go up here. Maybe, oh, I'm the wrong way around. I need to handbrake turn to use those jumps. Maybe it will shake them off. Or maybe I'll screw myself. Oh, they're behind me. Oh, no, no, no. Go. Oh, I can't. Oh, move fast. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Leave me alone. Oh. Oh. Oh, how embarrassing. Thanks. Hey guys, if you get arrested by the cops, they can just rob you. <laughs>